Nikon's latest entry-level DSLR offering, the 24mm Pixel D3200, is designed not to replace the D3100, but sit alongside it as a more premium option. If you're thinking about buying your first DSLR, which of the two should you go for? Here's a look at some of the key differences. The D3100 features a 14.1 million pixel sensor, which is 10 million fewer than the D3200's offering. Although increasing the pixel count increases the risk of extra noise in images, larger images can be cropped while still retaining a high resolution. This is handy if you want to shoot subjects from a distance. The guide mode, which walks you through the process of image taking, was one of the most popular features of the D3100, so it's no surprise to see it also appear on the D3200. New guides have been included, which are all written in plain English alongside photographic language to help you learn as you shoot. Ergonomics of the D3200 have been slightly reworked, with a repositioned movie record button and a dedicated drive mode button replacing a switch on the top plate. Aside from that, operation and handling are very similar to its predecessor. Taking the same processor as the professional level D800 and D4 bodies, the D3200 features an XP3 device, which means that the camera is capable of performing better in low light and at high sensitivity settings, something which our lab tests have confirmed. If you are a first time buyer, it's a close run thing between these two cameras, as both can offer a lot to the beginner. However, if you've got the extra cash and want the benefit of the better noise performance, extra resolution and improved guide mode, the D3200 is a fantastic choice. Look out for my full review of the Nikon D3200 online at techradar.com.